a lot of times in practical problems, you'll have uh, an equation involving two variables, a dependent variable and an independent variable, where the independent variable is a function of the dependent variable. This could be anything. In economics, it could be um, that this is quantity and you want to know price, or anything of that sort. What you have to know, know how to do is how to solve for one of the two variables if you're given the value of the other variable. And what you simply do is just plug the number that you're given into the function and solve for the other one. So if you're given a value for the independent variable x, let's say x equals 2, all you do is plug this 2 in for x up here. So you rewrite the equation as y equals 3 times 2 plus 1. And then you have y equals 3 times 2, which is 6, plus 1 is 7. So y is going to equal 7 when x is 2. When you're given a value for x, a lot of times in functional notation, it's going to be written as y of 2. And all that means is plug 2 in for whatever the independent variable is. So in this case, you plug 2 in for x and solve, which is what we just did. Now say there is a number given to you for the dependent variable y. y equals 10, for example. This can also be written as y of what equals 10. Well, all you do is plug that 10 in for y and solve for x. So 10 equals 3x plus 1. Subtract 1 from both sides. 9 equals 3x. Divide both sides by 3. And you get x is equal to 3. And that's how you solve for an independent or a dependent variable.